it, guys. Come on over. I- I'll give my take on this. Rumble, because there was a lot of good points made here. He's going to break it down for you guys. Uh, Rumble.com slash fresh fit, guys. Come on over real quick. Come on over. Come on over. Um, Let's go. I really wasn't yelling. I really wasn't yelling. I just like it. Yeah. So I think, so. That was cute. <laughs> Sorry, I feel, I feel bad. He thought I was yelling. I really was. And, and I want to make sure, like, did anyone else have anything, well. like, on this topic of, like, uh, conducive, like, uh, you know, what your priority is versus, like, conducive to find a man that you want? All right, so let me go around the table real quick. Um, how many of you want to pay the majority of the bills when you're in a relationship with a man? Any of you? None of you. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, <laughs> so most of, all of you are pretty much looking for a man to be a provider or a predominant breadwinner in the relationship mm-hmm. the, by default, correct? Yeah. Okay, so so I think what Amy was trying to describe, right, which which I agree with and understand, women, on average, most women, want a relationship with a man who's going to be the predominant breadwinner and leader in the relationship, right, and be able to work kind of from a leisure standpoint, work because she wants to electively versus mandatorily versus the man is the main provider. Right. And, mm-hmm. um, and what Amy is saying is that the pursuit of resources, income and status, right. Contradicts that to a degree. And the reason why is because a woman has a finite amount of time to utilize her beauty, to get the highest status man that she can. Cause beauty is a woman's main commodity. Men sell success. Women sell sex. Right. So what she's saying is, if you prioritize your career in your 20s, which is great, I think what she's trying to say, and I'm going to kind of give a mindset on this, women need to go into it with their eyes wide open. And what I mean by this is, you guys that are single, that are young, pursue your career, go to school, chase the success. However, I think women need to have a shifting priority here where if the right guy comes along, that can be this predominant breadwinner, etc. You need to be able to shift that priority to him and put your career on the back burner. I think that's the most important and applicable advice for modern day women, because of course, most guys are not going to be able to support and take care of you, right? As a single breadwinner, right? Nigga, Which that's is the what same shit I was saying. Yeah. Like, what are they going to yeah, do in the meantime? Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. I'm sorry. I agree so, with you. Yeah. So I think women need to be able to shift and, and understand that if you find that guy in that time with that window, like you need to be able to shift. The, I think the issue is, is the girl that Let's say she's in med school or about to go to med school and she finds that fucking guy and she says, and he says, I need you. I want you to move with me, blah, blah, blah. She says, no, I'm going to prioritize my career. Great. You can do that. But understand that that guy might not come along again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? And I would argue that a lot of girls think that they could find another guy. A lot of the Mm -hmm. times you won't because a lot of guys will say, I want you to split 50, 50 with me. I want this to be a partnership, whatever. Cause we live in a very feminized world where guys don't understand being leaders and, um, being dominant anymore they think that men and women are equal so i think if women can make peace with the fact that that guy comes along maybe one once or twice in your lifetime you are willing to say no i can do better or no i'm not willing to give up my career you need to live with the fact that you're probably gonna have to deal with a guy that's not that might not be able to provide that lifestyle that you wanted and the the thing that why this is an issue is that A woman's uh, typically to acquire status of resources takes time. And for a woman to do that, she's got to give up her peak years to do it. And here's the, the, the scary part. As a woman acquires more status and resources and makes money, she's also getting older. So what's ending, what's happening is your, your taste for men is going up because you're making more money and going up the social totem pole. But your value as a female in the dating marketplace is going down. So what ends up happening is they're kind of here, you're hot and you're uh, making money. And then as you get older, your looks go down, but your standards and men goes up. And then there's this disconnect. Next thing you know, you're 39, 40, 45 years old, making 300 K per year, but you can't command a guy that makes that kind of money to commit to you. So what I'm mm-hmm. saying is it's okay to chase the career, but be prepared to shift priorities if the right guy comes along. Mm-hmm. Right. Because, of course, you got to earn for yourself. And we live in a world now where single income is very difficult to live off of. But if that guy comes along, are you prepared to make that sacrifice? Which I think you should make that sacrifice because you can always go back to school. You can always gain a skill. You can always make more money, but you can't necessarily always find the right guy at your peak. Well said. I, I agree with everything you said. Mm-hmm. I think you just are maybe articulated a lot better than me because that's, that's also what you talk about every day. Right. Yeah. But uh, it's like 
Yeah, I was just saying, like, what are they going to do in the meantime? That's going to be yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like, it, it, it's time to switch. And that's switch. what I was saying to you. I'm not saying they should only not work a job and only go after the. So no. it's like yeah. same thing. It's it's. But women need to know, room. especially for you girls that mentioned like career, that all that's going to happen when you acquire more money and get older is your standards are going to go up while your value goes down. So basically, you're burning the candle at two different ends, and then you don't want to be in a position where you're pretty much almost burnt out. You're making all this money. But your status and income has now ostracized you from the very men that you want in the first place. You've outpriced yourself, essentially, is what happens. You can no longer pay for the quality of man that you want, not, not financially, but with your looks and your beauty. Because he's going to want the girl that's 21 versus you being 31 or 32. Makes sense. That same breadwinner you want that can take care of you, he could go take care of a hot, younger, hotter girl. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that, I think that's the biggest thing that women need to know is like, go in with your eyes wide open. Your value goes down as you age and your income is going up only hurts you. But we tell Misogyny. women, you making more money actually helps you. It hurts you. Well oh, said. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah, kind of? sense. Yes, sir. Yeah, we on the same page. I'm yeah, just like, this is a talk like, I had on my sister. Like, what are they just going to do? With, I was just thinking like, what are they going to do in the meantime? Yeah. Yeah. You we got you. Like, yeah, I, I, uh, um, because I have a sister, she's a doctor, and I had this conversation with her, and I, and I had to tell her, like, yo, this is, you, you got to find a guy now when you're in your 20s. It's only mm -hmm. going to suck more as you make more money and become, like, a oh, specialist. Mm -hmm. It's going to fuck you up. And she found a guy. Great. You know what I mean? But I don't think we tell enough women this, that your career will hinder you in the long run when it comes to finding the man, mm -hmm. especially a breadwinner. Uh, cool. Yeah.